TVS Motor Company is a multinational motorcycle company headquartered at Chennai, India. It is the third largest motorcycle company in India with a revenue of over 15,000 crore rupees $2.1 billion in 2017-18. The company has an annual sales of 3 million units and an annual capacity of over 4 million vehicles. TVS Motor Company is also the second largest exporter in India with exports to over 60 countries. TVS Motor Company Limited, TVS Motor, a member of the TVS Group, is the largest company of the group in terms of size and turnover. Topic history TVS was established by Thirukurangudi Sundra Myinga. He began with Delhi's first bus service in 1911 and founded TV. Sundra Myinga and Sons Limited, a company in the transportation business with a large fleet of trucks and buses under the name of Southern Roadways Limited. When he died in 1955, his sons took the company ahead with several forays in the automobile sector, including finance, insurance, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, tires and components, housing, aviation, logistics etc. The group has operated 97 companies that account for a combined turnover of nearly $6 billion. Early history Sundaram Clayton was founded in 1962 in collaboration with Clayton Dewandra Holdings, United Kingdom. It manufactured brakes, exhausts, compressors and various other automotive parts. The company set up a plant at Hosa in 1978, to manufacture mopeds as part of their new division. In 1980 TVS 50, India's first two-seater moped rolled out of the factory at Hosa in Tamil Nadu, southern India. A technical collaboration with the Japanese auto giant Suzuki Limited resulted in the joint venture between Sundram Clayton Limited and Suzuki Motor Corporation, in 1982. Commercial production of motorcycles began in 1984. Suzuki relationship TVS and Suzuki shared a 19-year-long relationship that was aimed at technology transfer for design and manufacture of two-wheelers specifically for the Indian market. Rechristened TVS Suzuki, the company brought out several models such as the Suzuki Supra, Suzuki Samurai, Suzuki Shogun and Suzuki Shaolin. In 2001, after separating ways with Suzuki, the company was renamed TVS Motor, relinquishing its rights to use the Suzuki name. There was also a 30-month moratorium period during which Suzuki promised not to enter the Indian market with competing two-wheelers. Recent recent launches include the flagship model TVS Apache RR310, the TVS Apache RTR200, TVS Victor and TVS XL100. TVS has recently won four top awards at JD. Power Asia Pacific Awards 2016, three top awards at JD. Power Asia Pacific Awards 2015 and two-wheeler manufacturer of the year at NDTV Car and Bike Awards 2014-15. In early 2015, TVS Racing became the first Indian factory team to take part in the Dakar Rally, the world's longest and most dangerous rally. TVS Racing partnered with French motorcycle manufacturer Sherco, and named the team Sherco TVS Rally Factory Team. TVS Racing also won the Raid de Himalaya and the Fox Hill Supercross held at Sri Lanka. In three decades of its racing history, TVS Racing has won over 90% of the races it participates in. In 2016 TVS started manufacturing the BMW G310R, a model co-developed with BMW Motorrad after their strategic partnership in April 2013. In December 2018, the Hosa plant where the motorcycle is manufactured rolled out its 50,000th G310R series unit. On 6 December 2017, TVS launched their most awaited motorcycle, the Apache RR310 in an event at Chennai. The 310cc motorcycle with an engine which was co-developed with BMW features first ever full fairing on a TVS bike, dual channel abs, EFI, KYB suspension kits, etc. It is expected to rival bikes like KTM RC 390, Kawasaki Ninja 250SL, Bajaj Pulsar and Domina and Honda CBR 250R after hitting the market. The Apache RR310 is designed and realized entirely in India. Topic. Characteristics of TVS Motor It was the first Indian company to deploy a catalytic converter in a 100cc motorcycle and the first to indigenously produce a four-stroke 150cc motorcycle. 
The list of firsts from the firm include, India's first two-seater moped, TVS-50, India's first indigenous scootret, TVS Scooty, India's first digital ignition, TVS Champ, India's first fully indigenous motorcycle, Victor, first Indian company to launch ABS in a motorcycle, Apache RTR series, the first scooter with body balance technology, TVS Wego, the clutchless motorcycle equals Jive, Indonesia's first dual-tone exhaust noise technology, Tormax and India's first oil-cooled chamber construct with RAM Air Assist TVS Apache RTR 204 volts. And a recent launch, India's first connected scooter TVS NTORQ which claims to be India's first Bluetooth connected scooter with features like call assistance, navigation etc. Topic awards TVS Motor won the prestigious Deming Application Prize in 2002. In the same year, the work done for the TVS Victor Motorcycle won TVS Motor the National Award for Successful Commercialization of Indigenous Technology from the Technology Development Board, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. In 2004, TVS Scooty Pep won the Outstanding Design Excellence Award from Businessworld Magazine and the National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad. The effective implementation of total productivity maintenance practices won TVS Motor the TPM Excellence Award given by the Japan Institute of Plant Maintenance in 2008. The company's chairman, Benu Srinivasan, was conferred with an honorary doctorate of science degree by the University of Warwick, United Kingdom in 2004, while the Government of India honoured him with Padma Shri, one of India's highest civilian distinctions in 2010. Innovative Implementation of Information Technology has won TVS Motor the ACE Award for Most Innovative Netweaver Implementation in 2007, awarded by Technology Major SAPAG and the Team Tech 2007 Award of Excellence for Integrated Use of Computer Aided Engineering technologies. Himalayan Highs, an initiative launched by TVS Motor Company has been included in the India Book of Records when Anam Hashim became the first woman on a 110cc scooter to complete the trip to Kardungla, the world's highest motorable stretch. <laughs>